Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another Adobe After Effects tutorial from Era FX So in this video we'll be learning to make this football and also add a bouncing animation to it So let me first create a new composition I'll name this bounce 1920 by 1080 resolution is fine with a duration of 5 seconds and I'll hit okay I'll first create a background to do that i'll go to layer and from new i'll click on solid and name this background and this color is fine and i'll hit okay so now i have a football map image let me drag this onto the composition you can download this file from the link in the description below in order to convert this into a football go to the fxm presets panel and type in cc sphere so I have this CC sphere effect in the perspective folder of the effects and I'll drag this on to our football map and now you can see that it is converted into a football. So we'll first add some rotation to it. I'll expand the rotation. So I'll hold alt on my keyboard and click on this timer button here for rotation Y and I'll type in time into 200. And if I start playing the video, you can see that the football would be rotating something like this. And now we'll add some bouncing animation. I'll select my football and hit P on my keyboard so that the position property opens up. Make sure you're at the first frame. I'll move this to the top of our composition. Click on this timer button here for the position so that a keyframe is created at the first frame. Move to around one second forward and click on this diamond button here so that a keyframe is created at this point and I'll go exactly between these two keyframes at around 15th frame I'll bring this down something like this so if I start playing the video you can see that this is how the ball drops but in order to give it a bouncing effect I'll select all these three keyframes, I'll right click and from keyframe assistant, I'll select easy ease and I'll also open the graph editor and, and I'll right click here and ensure that edit speed graph is checked and I'll bring the starting and the ending points closer to the center point that we have here so that the graph looks something like this. And if I start playing the video, you can see that this is how the ball starts bouncing. And in order to make sure that it bounces continuously, hold Alt on your keyboard and click on this timer button here for position. And now from this small expression language menu that we have here, add a property called loop out duration. And if I start playing the video, you can see that the football will be continuously bouncing along with the rotation that we have here. Adobe After Effects is all about creativity so you can use this technique to create a nice bouncing effect in your projects. I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. See you guys next time with another tutorial.